All right. Whoa! So EA Sports released the deep dive for the NHL 25 gameplay, and it's just gonna break down like what's new in the gameplay for this new game. Full transparency, I don't even know if this is gonna be a YouTube video. If you're watching it, then obviously it became a YouTube video. My point is, is that there's some stuff in this deep dive that I probably already know information about, so I don't even know if this deserves a reaction, but we're still gonna watch it right now. I'm gonna try and break it down. I don't even know what the fuck this is gonna be, but I'll just watch it. Welcome, I'm Mike Inglehart, and this is the EA Sports NHL 25 game. Oh, hell yeah. Bedard, let's fucking go. We're going to take a look at Ice Cube. Chelsea new logic driven gameplay system okay so for everyone that's in my comments asking about what the fuck ice q is so ice q entails next gen vision control empowered ai and reactive action which they did say in the trailer it was just like in those tiny little text boxes in the top left of the little like player icon things but you had to like look closely for it but we're gonna find out more about it right now but this is basically what ice q entails plus the dynamic and deadly new skill-based one-timers okay wait 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 skill-based one-timers having that feels so much better because before it was just like yeah i'm just gonna press up and it's just gonna to work now it's like you have to time it and you have to aim it properly in order to get a good shot otherwise your shot either might whiff or it might just be not as good of a shot so rewarding actual timing of one timers by making it skill based makes us feel like it's gonna be a really good feature to add in the game players are getting better smarter and more technical than ever before next gen vision control is an evolution of cello skating system that allows you to create more time and space on the ice and a user initiated skating mode that ups the responsiveness explosiveness and expression on the ice for human human and AI players alike. Okay, so basically with this, you get a lot more lateral movements and just punch stopping in general, which I think we definitely needed for NHL 25 because in NHL 24, it was a lot of like clunkiness and, and it just felt like a lot of north-south skating and just like, and there wasn't really any lateral skating in 24, to be honest, like at all. But I understand why they went that direction with 24 because in 22 and 23 and 21, it was just like L2 city. Every single person that was good at this game was just L2ing like crazy and it was like almost impossible to stop unless you had gold truck in the support. But now at 25, it really seems like they're trying to up the level of their lateral skating and make it more realistic rather than just like, you know, L2-ing around an entire team and just going straight to the net. Square up to the puck carrier, thread the needle through an opponent's defense, and stay locked on goal for better shot opportunities. Cool. When next gen vision control is i like this a lot because you can see he's just mohawking all the way around which we do see a lot of players do especially with players like kirill kaprizov it's just something that they utilize all the time and it's always in their toolbox they now skate with the net as the target so basically no matter where you are in the ozone if you're holding down l2 you can face the net on the offensive side the player will target the puck when next gen vision control is active this allows for more accurate pass pickups and blends nicely with the new skill-based one-timers. Defensively, next-gen vision control gives you more control to face up to the puck at all times. Okay, so it's not even just an offensive thing. It's offensive and defensive. So that's honestly a good sign. I just wonder, because obviously they're introducing this feature new to NHL 25, like this hasn't been in the game before, at least in this engine. So I wonder if there's gonna be any game-breaking glitches like on day one. I guess we're just gonna have to find out and see. I'm sure there's gonna be something, but I just hope there's nothing that's absolutely game-breaking. Empowered AI is a complete overhaul of our AI play system to keep in a true to life that's a sick one t because dry saddle does be doing that shit like a lot from down low we've also revamped rush plays and how players establish zone possession the ai players now read plays better and glide into offensive positions instead of just crashing the far post reactive actions like collision avoidance animations allow players to swim past one another and into positions smoothly like the pros no longer running into and getting tangled up with each other honestly that's fire because in like a lot of nhl 24 I just felt like there was an invisible hitbox that you just like get tangled up with other players all the time even when you didn't want to so having this be a thing where you're just like not colliding with players as often even though like you're like right next to them you can just kind of like dodge around them or just like slip past them without the puck i feel like this can be a good addition hold up blackhawks roster i gotta make sure this is correct make have Murphy. Oh, they even have Korchinski's changed number? That's crazy. Bro. The new skill-based one-timers really shine. Anchored by a new in-game visual indicator, if timed correctly, you'll unleash the skill-based one-timer, which is more powerful and accurate. If your timing is off, the shot's accuracy drops, raising the stakes and making the action all the more exciting. Thank you for watching the NHL 25 gameplay deep dive. Oh, that's literally the whole video? Okay, sick. Okay, that gave us a lot of good tidbits of just like random shit that's gonna be in the game. So honestly, I feel like those are some pretty good features. Like I said before, I just hope there's nothing game breaking on day one. And if there is, I hope there's like a hot fix or a patch that they just have readily available so that we're not dealing with it all year or for an extended period of time. But regardless, I feel like those features are pretty good to add to the game because it addresses some of the issues that were in NHL 24 for like most of the game. Plus like think back to NHL 22 and 23, one timers were ridiculously overpowered. And if you had those down pat, you're scoring like five, six, seven, ten goals a game. But yeah, let me know how you're feeling about this. And if you are going to be copying NHL 25, to be honest, I have a good feeling about 
about it. I'm just excited to see like what some of these features are going to be like in game, like in ESHL clubs. But yeah, I have other chill videos on my channel if you want to watch those. I also have more hockey real life content coming out soon. So be sure to like and sub if you want to see more of those and I'm out of here.